Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. No. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Booster John and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to port match a throttle body to your intake manifold. Before the video starts, I do just want to quickly say that this throttle body and intake manifold plenum that we're going to be working with in today's video is for the new built motor for the full send turbo Civic. The next couple of videos are going to be some quick uh, tutorial style videos teaching you guys how to gain a little bit more power out of your motors, NA or boosted. And again, like I said, today is going to be port matching your throttle body to your intake manifold. Now this, this is my old setup. This is just a stock B16 intake manifold that goes right on this B16 cylinder head. It doesn't look all that cool. Uh, also, the uh, you know the bore size of the plenum is pretty small, and uh, the throttle is also really old and outdated and kind of ugly. So we're getting a new throttle body, we're getting a new intake manifold, and we're gonna be port matching the uh, throttle body to the plenum. I did port match this one in the past, uh, but like I said, we're gonna go with something a little bit newer, a little bit better and a little bit better flowing. <clears throat> Lastly, before the video gets started, there are only a couple weeks left to get entered to win a full set of Injector Dynamics uh, fuel injectors. <laughs> Lastly, before the video gets started, if you wouldn't mind clicking that like button and the subscribe button, uh, I work a full-time job while I make YouTube videos. I work really, really hard at this, and it would really mean a lot to me just helping me out by clicking that subscribe button and the like button. And lastly, if you do want to support the channel even more, uh, I do have a merch link in the description down below for the Frick Winter merch and also the Boosted John's Blown Motor Club merch. Boom. Super sick. Uh, you can support the channel by purchasing the merch. And also you'll be entered to win a set of 1050X fuel injectors from Injector Dynamics. All the information on how to win those is in the description down below. The giveaway will end on February 28th, 2022. And with that said, thank you for being here. Let's get into the video. Easiest way to do this. Throttle body on there, hold it down. No gasket yet. We don't need to worry about that. That'll be like last. Just check it all. I mean, really, you don't even need to put in all four. I just I put in all four because then I can kind of center the bolts a little more. You know what I mean? <clears throat> just for the first first drawing of it, I guess you could say. Right. So so get it on there, and then we'll just make sure we'll open the throttle up, make sure that it looks like it's uh, centered for the most part. Everything's in there. It's not going to be much. We got to actually take off on this one, just a little bit. So this is this throttle body 74, and looks like the manifold's ported to about 74. So we just got to take off a little bit, and it it doesn't matter if we go a little bit larger on um, this the manifold size because. We just want it to be able to flow smoothly into there. Right. Yep. Same deal. Big, uh, yep. big opening. Yep. Right. So really, we're just gonna take off a little bit on this guy. Get it all smoothed out. Yeah. So I'm just kind of just taking a marker and just scribing onto where we need to go. So far, we've bolted on the throttle body and just traced the overlapping edge. So this way we know exactly what material we need to remove in order to port match the plenum to the throttle body and allow for smooth airflow into the engine. Now, as you can see, I have very little material to remove. Fortunately, this plenum is pretty dang close to 74 millimeters. So I'm gonna go just a little bit, uh, one step like above and beyond and just roll this inner edge as well uh, and try to smooth this out as much as I can so that way there's no turbulence created going over this lip straight inside the plenum. All right, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna go back with the sanding roll and uh, just smooth down all these edges, smooth down all these grooves, all these divots, all these bumps, and uh, get this looking as smooth as I possibly can. Now the idea is that I'm, I'm trying to take these little bumps that you can see in the back here and smooth them out until it is completely smooth, like as smooth as you can possibly imagine. You know, there still is a lot of texture over here, and it's very smooth over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep working my way uh, clockwise and get all of these bumps as smooth as I possibly can.
So guys, is this going to give me 10, 15, 20 more horsepower at the end of the day? No, but when you're building a car that has a ton of different systems going on and it's, it's becoming more and more complex, ounces are pounds, right? So little things like this add up. And if we treat every single aspect of the build with this amount of care and quality, like we're gonna end up gaining a few horsepower here and there. And like a few horsepower here and there adds up. While this might not make the biggest difference, is it still valuable for you to do? Probably. It didn't take that much time to do. It's not that hard. So that's pretty much it for today. I will see you guys on the next one. And as I always say, boys, let's remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain our goals. Bye. So like in the next video when we're working on this uh, intake manifold on these runners, what are we gonna do about uh, like porting this side? So yeah, we're definitely gonna address this side. Um, this is probably gonna be a pretty significant difference because if you're looking at your stock car, you can see how the ports are on here and it's a little bit cleaner. So we'll be able to line them up, get them all lined up to your cylinder head perfectly. So if you want, we can grab a head real quick and just match it up. Yeah, yeah, let's go over there. What up, what up, what up? What up, what up, what up? What up?